Hello everybody, welcome back. Scanning in the verse is going to be very important for any kind of activity, no matter if you are exploring or if you are just stalking your enemies, trying to learn their plans and their next move. Staying silent in the dark, trying to collect data is going to be essential for your success and at the same time a quite enjoyable gameplay. If that kind of gameplay is something that interests you, then there are going to be certain vessels in the Star Citizen universe that will help you fulfill your goals, be successful at this activity, and two great options are the Anvil Therapy and the Drake Herald. So today we are going to take a good look at these two vessels, try to see what are their similarities and their differences of course, and how they can help you achieve your goals as a scanner, as someone that wants to discover points of interest or simply wants to collect data and sell them for a nice price. The Terrapin is considered a heavily armored reconnaissance vessel used for scanning and exploration by the UE military primarily, but thanks to its design, equipment and capabilities can be used for exploration, for taking out there in order to discover points of interest or simply monitoring other entities, hostile entities, in order to learn their secrets. The Herald, on the other hand, is described as a small armored in Forerunner, and despite the fact that its role is to transfer data from point A to point B, thanks again to its design and its equipment, can be used for exploration, solo exploration, or for exploring ahead of a larger group, or for simply monitoring other entities, other players, trying to collect data that you and your organization can use or simply sell to the highest bidder. The Terrapin has a maximum crew of two persons, its length is at 20 meters and its mass is at 30,000 kilograms. Its cargo capacity is officially at zero. The Herald, on the other hand, has two persons as a maximum crew, 23 meters length, 18,000 kilogram mass and again zero cargo capacity. We can see very clearly that their stats are almost identical, very similar, except of course the mass, the Terrapin is heavier because it relies more on its heavy armor for protection and getting out of a dangerous situation, while the hair relies most on its speed as we are going to see later. They both have a zero car capacity and this is mainly because their role is not to find point of interest and salvage, grab loot from these points of interest to get back and make money and make a profit, but their goal is to find data, collect info and sell their info, sell this data, this info in order to make a profit out of this activity. That doesn't mean that the owner of the Terrapin or Herald cannot place some cargo crates inside these vessels, but this will have a risk and can cause damage when you are traveling, when you are maneuvering around. Their interior, although different, has the same concept, has a very similar concept. There is room for the pilot, there is a cockpit for the pilot, and of course a dedicated area, a dedicated station for the scanner specialist. The Terrapin is fitted with a dedicated station featuring isometric display terminals that allow the operator increased fidelity during data collection and analysis. The Herald, on the other hand, has its own dedicated area for the scanner with a secure control terminal and its design gives emphasis to data protection. It comes with an advanced Armor computer core that runs on a dedicated server, advanced encryption software and EMP protection since it is equipped with EMP shielding but also backup power systems. Despite the fact that both vessels have a maximum crew of two persons, a single person, a single player will be able to operate them successfully since when you are scanning, when you are listening, you will have most of your other components, most of your other equipment disabled and you will be focusing on discovering points of interest or listening to other players, to other communications. It is important to notice though that with a second player on the cockpit ready to take action and escape the area in case of an emergency, taking out these two vessels is going to be a lot safer. So we can very easily see that both the Herald and the Terrapin can be used effectively with one or two persons, but having a second person on the cockpit ready to take action and evade the enemy is always going to be a lot safer. Now, as far as scan equipment goes, the Terrapin comes with an utility mount for a diverse set of roles and is equipped with a D-type scanner that will allow it to fulfill its role for exploration and scanning. 
In the future, it will also be possible to use other components in that utility mount that will enhance its scanning capabilities or even turn it into an arm or command and control ship. We are quite familiar with the design of the Herald, especially the exterior, and a quite impressive part of this design are of course the exterior data storage pods that have a big volume and you can store all the data that you have collected in there securely and can also be detached. You can leave one or more of these pods behind for your allies so they can analyze your data, the data that you have collected while you are continuing your job as a scanner or you can leave them behind in case of an emergency or simply if you want to create a drop point. The Herald also comes with a SATA broadcast array that will allow long-range transmission, long-range data transmission for both communication and emergency purposes. In the future, when we will have hacking arrays in game, we could possibly replace the broadcast array with these hacking arrays and make the data interception and data theft a lot more easier with the Herald. The main goal of the Terping and the Herald is to collect data to find points of interest or intercept communication of other players, other entities, while remain undetected. It is essential for an owner of a Terrapin or a Herald to know how to remain stealthy and not draw attention. But sometimes things can go very bad and this is where the two vessels have their main difference. How they approach risk, how they approach danger. As we have seen the Terrapin is heavy because it relies most on its heavy armor and its reinforced plating for survival. Thanks to this heavy armor but also its robust shield generator can take a beating if it is discovered and can survive hostiles or extreme conditions. The goal of a Terrapin pilot under fire is to focus on escape techniques and use the environment if he can in order to survive rather than running. It's not fast and it's not maneuverable enough but its engines are designed for longer flight duration and it also comes with a bigger fuel tank so it can stay out there for longer. So the goal of the Terrapin is to remain undetected and always know where its enemies are, know what they are planning to do, know where they are moving and avoid detection. The Heron now has the biggest engines per mass in the game and it relies obviously on its speed. In case of an emergency you are going to take advantage of your very good speed to escape your enemies, to escape the players or the NPC that are pursuing you and get out of the area as fast as possible. It is not very maneuverable either, so fighting against dedicated fighters, against space superiority fighters, is not going to be a wise idea, it is not going to be the best course of action. As for their weaponry, the Terrapin has a pair of size 2 laser weapons on its chin turret to help against enemies, but it is obvious that these two laser weapons are not there to destroy enemies, mostly keep attackers away while you are trying to escape the area. Something we have to mention regarding the Terrapin and its equipment is that it will be best to bring with you laser weaponry that will not depend on ammunition and you can stay out there for longer. After all, the Terrapin is designed to stay out there for a quite long time. These weapons for the Terrapin can change by the time we get it in game, but the hair that is already in game comes with a combination of two size 1 hard points and a size 3 hard point. It also comes with missile weaponry and a lot of countermeasures to keep it protected. With two size 1 weapons, one size 3 weapon and two missile racks with four size 1 missile seats, eight missiles in total, the Herald can hold its ground for a while but it will be safer to try and create an opening through your enemies and use your speed in order to escape. Some other interesting facts about the Herald and the Terrapin both have no means of quick escape. There is no ejection method for the scanner or the pilot and there is only one, a single side entrance and exit that you need to use if you have to if you want to get out of the vessel as fast as possible. Something that emphasizes more the do not be detected by the enemy moto. The Terrapin, because of its heavy armor, has some heat problems. Heat builds up fast on the interior, but you can vent it out with the retractable armor panels. The Herald has a small crew quarters at the back of the interior for both members of the crew, while the Terrapin has only one bed 
and this is because it was manufactured as a military vessel and that means that one person of the crew will always have to be on guard duty. It has been mentioned that the Terrapin can also be used as a search and rescue vessel thanks to its cunning and stealth capabilities or as a troops transport carrying elite troops to infiltrate enemy lines but in order for this to happen more seats will have to be added to the interior because right now there is no space for carrying passengers, there is no space for carrying personnel around. So these were the Herald and the Terrapin, two very nice options for stealth gameplay if you want to go out there and perform exploration without being detected or if you want to monitor enemies and other players, other entities trying to steal data that you can use yourself or sell to the highest bidder. They have many similarities as we have seen and the main difference is how they approach danger, how they approach detection. The Terrapin relies on its heavy armor to survive enemy fire while the Herald tries to take advantage of its very good speed in order to escape the area. I find them both very interesting, impressive for the kind of gameplay they are offering, the kind of gameplay they are promising and I would love to test them both in the game. Herald is already in game, but we don't have that kind of gameplay yet in the Persistent Universe. I think both will be essential for organizations, but also freelancers, solo players, and that could be a quite useful tool to make money, either by simply discovering points of interest or blackmailing other players. Which one of these two is your favorite? Which one would you like to take out there for a stroll, scanning and trying to collect data? Let me know. Thank you very much for joining me, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse, bye bye.